Okay, we're going to create a 3D web portal effect using GIMP. First thing that you want to do is select a, a new layer. Okay, with that new layer, we're going to go and create a frame. And let's, we're going to put a frame around, around the boat, or part of, the, part of the boat. Okay, then I want to select my paint bucket tool, and I want to fill in the framed area. Then I want to right click and I want to select uh, shrink depending on uh, let's try 25 first for shrink uh, depending on the resolution of your image hit control X to delete you're gonna you're gonna have to play with the thickness of your frame then I want to go here select none and then I want to actually go back in and hit select and then select only the frame area only not the whole thing then I, once I have that selected, I want to click on my transform tool, click in the image, and now I can morph my frame. Now I can take it and bend it how I want to. It gives it the cool effect of coming out. Okay, for the sake of time, I'm just going to uh, just bend it like that. It's fine. And hit transform. And then I want to go over, and I want to right click, and I want to anchor the layer that I just made. Okay, once that's done, I want to click back on my background layer. I want to right click. I want to add a mask layer now. Adding the mask layer helps us out tremendously. Once you add the mask layer, select the, the paint brush tool and make sure that you have the black selected. And what we're going to do with the black now is we're going to go through and take out all of anything outside of the frame. So everything outside of that white frame, get rid of. Okay. And oops, I lost my I lost my pencil. There we go, I got it back. And make sure, don't forget about the back side of the frame or the bottom of the frame. Okay? You want to be careful when you get to the subject that's sticking outside of the frame though. Okay? For this piece, I suggest you move in, zoom in, uh, and go right to the point that you're going to go. Now, once you hit zoom, then go back to the paint tool and paint away area. Now, for the sake of time, this may be a little choppy, but I only have so much time for the video. And... Hit the end, and let me get this piece here. Okay, took out a little bit more than I want to. Okay, once you have that done, we'll zoom back out, take a look at what we have done so far. See, you see a piece that you you missed. All right, you just go back with your brush and do it. If you hit a piece. When you accidentally take a piece out like that, hit the white, and it will repaint it back in. Okay, well now we're done with that. So let's click on our frame layer. Now we'll click on the frame layer. Let's get our erase tool. And so we can see what we're doing. Let's change the opacity down a little bit so I can see it. So I just want to go to the edge of my object and erase to the bottom edge. So just take out the edge of the object, and then take your opacity, change it back up, and voila, you have a 3D web effect, now the book's coming out the picture. Okay, you can go get GIMP at GIMP.org, it's a free download, have fun with it.